Are you wondering how to add a priority in Asana? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly what you need to do. So I'm going to start by opening up a project plan that I created just before this video. So if you don't have one set up already, then I suggest you do so. Obviously, I've just created a new project and I've started adding tasks to my project plan list. And I've obviously set these up in different phases as well, just for your information. Now, if you look closely, the priority column should be set up by default. And you'll see there, if I highlight over it, it will say Asana created. So obviously this enables us to track the priority of each task. And at the moment you will see that the field's blank. So all you need to do here is leverage the the options provided by Asana. So let's say this is a high uh, priority task, this is medium and this is low. So obviously very, very easy. From there, you can sort on the filter as well. Um, so you can sort by priority, so you can show any task that's got a high uh, to low or vice versa by clicking on the sorting options either here or here. Um, but let's assume that the priority column isn't in place. Now, what you need to do, I'm actually gonna delete this first. So I'm gonna click this drop down and I'm gonna go remove field from project. So let's remove priority. Okay, so let's assume you don't have the priority column. So how do you add it? Well, all you need to do is click the add field button, which is will be on the right hand side at the top in the kind of task, uh, you know, the column header uh, on the right hand side. You left click this, and then from here, you will have a couple of suggestions perhaps from, from Asana, and you can see priority is actually in there. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna type in uh, priority. Now, of course, whatever you type in here will be the column header, so make sure it's obviously spelt correctly, etc. cetera. Um, we're gonna do a single select. We're not gonna want a multiple select. We don't want dates, people, or, or we could have text if you wanted to manually enter your text, but I think single select is the best option here, so we're gonna leave that like that. Um, you could even add a description that's gonna be available for anyone who needs a bit of information. So you might even want to um, include some information as what constitutes high, for instance, or, or what medium really is. Um, that can be really useful for anyone come, kind of coming in here and, and needing some justification um, for their options. But now all you need to do is set up the options. Um, if I left it like this, it would obviously be option one, option two, it doesn't make any sense. So basically highlight over this uh, and I'm going to type in uh, low. We're gonna have we're gonna have low and high just for this example. You could have medium as well. If you wanted to add medium, you just click add option. Oh, I'll actually just do that while while it's there. Uh, you can rearrange by left clicking here, um, you know, uh, and dragging. We're gonna go uh, let it, yeah, let's put medium in the middle. It obviously, makes sense in that order. And what you can do here is if you left click, you can change the colors. So green obviously makes sense for low and high makes sense for red in this instance. Um, but you could you know manipulate the color scheme if you wanted. Um, and then you have a few options down at the bottom. Um, namely, what might be useful if you're the project manager is that only you can edit this field settings. I'd probably recommend that. Um, and you can also notify any uh, task collaborators when the, the field values change. So that might be useful if you know this is a new thing you're setting up. But all you then need to do is click create field and you will see priorities in here and we have the different options. And we have a new option actually at the bottom which enables us to edit them and that will take us back to uh, this particular field. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do hit the like button and do consider subscribing to my channel. And if you head over to my channel, you should find an Asana uh, playlist, which has lots of different videos on learning how to use Asana. And I have other playlists as well on my channel, all about project management and different tools as well. So you might want to head over there and check that out. Uh, so do consider subscribing and even hit the bell button and you'll be notified of when I release new videos just like this. So with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.